You've been looking at nationally board certified teachers and their impact on North Carolina schools for a long time. You don't see much impact from them, do you? No, there isn't much impact. And uh, for, for sure that the, the studies have been mixed about whether these teachers are effective or more effective or whether the process they go through makes them more effective in the classroom. Uh, it's been mixed for, for many years. The studies focus on North Carolina because we have one of the largest cohorts of Ameri uh, National Board Certified Teachers. Uh, so uh, this is really the place where most of those studies take place. And if we're uh, continuing to see mixed results as far as teacher effectiveness uh, of the teachers who go through this program, that raises a lot of questions. Now, one of the questions that was brought out during the course of this legislative discussion was, how are we going to fund this national board certification process in the future. We've already seen that the initial budgeted amount was not enough to cover applications. Now there's a flood of applications. The money is not going to be any more available now than in the past. Is it time to rethink this whole national board certification support that the state has? Absolutely. I mean, it's a significant amount of, of money, uh, as uh, Mr. Nordstrom points out. And this is going to become more of a problem as teachers look for ways to increase their salary. And this to many teachers is an easy way to increase their salary and so that's why we're seeing such a large uh, number of teachers deciding that they want to apply for national board certification uh, to try to get that certification to get that very handsome 12 percent increase for 10 years and so uh, I think it's it's something that we should actually have been uh, addressing years ago knowing that teachers were going to flock to this program they see it as a moneymaker. 